Can you imagine a natural nuclear reactor? It sounds impossible, which is why scientists in 1972 were so surprised to find natural uranium ore. The ore was mined from Oklo in the region of Gabon, West Africa. It's the only known natural nuclear reactor to date. By investigating the site, researchers were able to confirm the uranium ore inside went through natural fission over 2 billion years ago. But how? How does a tunnel of rock accomplish something naturally that takes an entire massive facility for humans to replicate? There are three factors. First, deposits needed a critical mass of U-235. U-235 is an isotope of uranium. It's the only naturally occurring fissile material, meaning it can sustain a nuclear chain reaction. Two billion years ago, there was far more uranium in the environment than there is today. This gave the Oklo deposits enough U-235 to start a nuclear chain reaction. Second, it needed water. Oklo had enough groundwater flowing through it to moderate the nuclear reaction. It slowed the neutrons down enough to sustain the reaction instead of it sputtering out and dying. It also prevented overheating and meltdown. Finally, the natural fission reactor needed to survive. In the past two billion years, the Earth went through countless floods, earthquakes, and more. But the Oklo mine survived, untouched. It was also surrounded by organic matter, which kept its radioactivity from leaking to the outside. This allowed the scientists to discover it centuries later. Could there be more natural nuclear reactors like Oklo elsewhere? Who knows? The conditions needed for it to happen are so specific, and it needed to survive as long as Oklo did. But for now, we can use Oklo as a reference point to learn more about the mysteries of our world. An ore sample is available for viewing at the Natural History Museum in Vienna. What do you think? Would you want to visit Oklahoma?